So the name Truth came about about five years ago when I just started doing street art. I started off making different stencils. And because of my faith in God, I wanted to have something that was really strong, a powerful word that even if someone didn't have any faith, they just know that this is the standard. And then I realized, even without thinking about it, it had become my street art name. It became my brand. teaching overseas it was uh, an opportunity for us to paint murals pretty much wherever we wanted to so in the classrooms in the cafeterias in the hallways with that I gained more confidence and learned more techniques so when my wife and I we moved back to the States about six years ago I was still teaching doing murals for the new school that I was at and then uh, I started doing street art at the same time and so people started seeing my art seeing uh, what, what I was into, what, what I was capable of. And so I started having companies and other schools and even people wanted murals for their residents. And as that snowball began to form and more and more people uh, were placing orders, it looked like, man, I could do this full time. So I stopped teaching after 12 years and I've been doing full time art. Even though there was parts of it that were very scary and parts that were unknown, I felt like the feeling of regret would have been something that would have haunted me. A big challenge for me has been rejection. When we first moved to Austin, I saw different galleries, I saw different coffee shops and restaurants that had art on the walls. So there's plenty of places that I reached out to and either said no, flat out, or just didn't respond to me at all. Social media is a very useful tool and getting your art out to the world. But at the same time, it could be a crazy thing for comparisons, it could be a crazy thing just internally because you want so many likes, you want people to really appreciate it, you want to see those positive comments and when it's not there the way you're expecting it, sometimes it could be kind of like a, a hit towards your self-esteem. I just keep reminding myself, okay, I'm at this place right now, but if I keep pushing, I'll be at that next level. This might be a temporary plateau, but eventually I will rise to that next level. I'm always looking for something new, a way to make my art a little bit different, especially in Austin where there's so many talented people. And so for me to be able to say, okay, I want myself to stand out. What's gonna be my little creative contribution? How am I gonna be someone new? and kind of how can my story be told in a different way. What I love most is when you get that connection with somebody else. It might be something small where they do just like it, but sometimes there is a deeper connection. I had this lady uh, a little while back sent me this email. She said that I felt like that piece was speaking to me directly because my, my husband had passed away and it was the anniversary of his passing. I can see that I'm making an impact, I'm making a difference. And so whether that's through the street art or with murals or actually still occasionally getting to work with young people uh, with art, Austin is probably one of the most creative cities that I've been in. And knowing that there's so much talent here, I really feel fortunate that projects have gone my way. Really try to let that show in my work and also just show when I'm interacting with the clients that, that I'm very grateful and being able to create images that really speak to them but also speak to me as well. <laughs>